Well, I think we're live. I was looking at the camera just kind of like a deer in the headlights. But here we are. Here we are again. Youth Online. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Do you know what? I have to tell you something, guys. This is officially our 10 week Ooh. birthday oh, of Youth Online. It's your birthday. Come on, give yourselves a round of applause. We made it. The we survived. Week. And so we're, we're going to celebrate a little yeah, bit we're tonight. we're having a party tonight. Okay, we're so invite your friends party. along. Listen, yes. it is not too late to send the link out. It's not too late to subscribe. Yes. Youth is beginning. We have got an action-packed night on our 10-week birthday. Who celebrates 10 weeks, by the way? We do. We do. And we're proud of it. That's right. Yes. So listen, we got some things planned tonight. Worship Impersonations is back. Oh. With a little twist. Uh, there is a little twist. Now, Pappas, he bl he, we were blown away by the talent. He was. I mean, look at him. He's a multi... Uh, he's a, I was going to say he's a multitasker. <laughs> he's a multi-talented guy. He really he's is. playing bass right now. He, he's playing drums later on tonight. It's, this guy, honestly, is there anything he can't do? The talent is just so... broad. He's got a plethora of talent. That's what I'd like it's to say. It's incredible. It's incredible. But... 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 Yeah. But tonight... We have the one and the only Melody Wagner. No, Melody Machinin. Machinin. That, it's not Wagner. Wagner was her previous name. She since then got married. I think to she a... goes by both surnames. Oh, but really? That's okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and she is going to show us what she has. I feel like she's got some versatility in her. Versatility? Yes. Thank you. I like that. Thank you. Versatility. Thank you. She's a versatile person, okay? Yes. That's what we're saying. Yes. So she's going to be doing that later on. Prince with Paps, you're not going to want to miss this yes. because we have gone for the top. We have pranked someone who you're all going to love. Yeah. So you've got to stay with us just to find out who that is. Yes. And then we've got something really special from one of our youth leaders yeah. from our city campus. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So listen, yeah. don't go anywhere. Subscribe. Send the link out. Invite your friends. And do you know what as well? We are streaming from our Young and Free channel as well. So if you're tuning in on Young and Free, a huge hello, a massive welcome. Stay online the whole time. Yeah. Send out the link to your friends. Uh, it's going to be a good night. Actually, yes. let us know what your favourite Young and Free song is. Mine would happen to be Embers. Embers <laughs> is a great, great, great song. Great song. Beautiful song. Yeah, we want to know. Song. We want to know what your favorite song is. Yeah. Young and Free Follow. Well, we've got a night planned, so it's going to be absolutely amazing. But first, speaking we're gonna, of Young and Free. Speaking of Young and yeah. Free, they're going to lead us right now in a praise song. So come on, get up on your feet. If you're in your car, pull over. We're going to sing a song of praise. Let's do this. Over to you guys. <laughs> Somebody I'm not, but it's not what I want Tell me there's another way All of the lights are chased and now faded All the cheap fails were only time wasted Tell me what society's plans to define who I am Surely there's a highway All of my best friends are sick of pretending So much is missing So give us a real thing I know it's you Na 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 Oh, where you are, would you sing with us? To decide who I am Never knew me anyway Oh, but trying to find the next heart Cause the heart never lasts I'ma go another way All of the lights are chased And not fake Till it was right The times they are changed Tell me what society is The to define who I am Surely there's a highway All of my best friends Are sick of pretending
it's you. Beautiful, beautiful. Speaking beautiful. of impersonations, I mean, <laughs> I, I should. Who are you impersonating now? I, I'm. I, you know who I would want to impersonate? Who? All of my best friends. <coughs> I still got pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, wow. I love that. Thanks for the courtesy no, laugh. I really loved that. Okay, it was great. A no, that's genuine cool. Thing. Hey, shout outs. Shout outs. We want to know who's joining in right now, and we can see some people commenting. So, oh, a big. I, do you know who I see? Who do you see? Jedi Strong. Oh, Hello, Jedi. Strongy. So glad that you're tuning in tonight. Jedi, you're the man. Yes. He's a killer baller, too, but yes. I can still dunk on him. No big deal. <laughs> uh, Caleb Tomoto, who is from Mexico. I wow. hope I said your surname right. Eagle. Big welcome from Mexico. Yeah. Uh, go back. I need to see all those other people. We got Sha Sha Hill from Southwest. We got Shaw <laughs> Shaw from the from the Netherlands. That's I a love it. Great, that's name. great. Great name. Louis from our own Hills campus. Yes. Uh, who else we got there, Lorzy? We have Elijah. We have Julia from Poland. We have Jared and Ethan from our Hills campus. Harry from the Gold Coast. Gabs from Waterloo. Wow. Aaron, Mitchell, Elijah, Rachel, Keely. Hi, Keely. Yes, and I do I want to do a special shout out to Peppa Pig. I know who Peppa Pig is. I know who you are too, Peppa Pig. We got some good insight from our own little... We have the inside little... scoop. Yes, so Peppa yes. Pig, we know who you are. Yes, we good do. Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, but listen, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Impersonations, oh. like we said, it's with a twist with Melanie yes. Mackinen. Yes. She's Mackinen because she just married a Finnish person. Yes. Is that what you call a person from Finland? Finnish? Y yes. We don't know. Uh, but listen, it's going to be amazing. So, hey, just before we go there, I do want to say, we want to pray for some people uh, later on in the program, all right? So if there's things you need prayer about, uh, maybe it's got things personally, internally, externally, whatever that is, make sure you click that link that's coming up or uh, let us know because later on, uh, after worship, we're going to pray for some needs and pray for some people. So that'll be awesome. But without further ado, I'm going to throw it over to Justin and Melody for this week's Worship Impersonations. Well, Peter, this is exciting, guys. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> this is a segment where basically we have a worship leader generator that will pop up on this screen okay. in front of you. Basically, we will have an artist and then a song, and then you need to sing that song like that artist would. Do you think you're up for it? I think, I, I think I'm up I for it. I know there's some stiff competition <laughs> there with um, Pappas, but yeah. I feel like you've got it. Thanks, Justin. I believe in you. Are Thank you ready you. for this? Yeah, okay. Don't be nervous. I'm nervous, but it's okay. I have no idea. This is so exciting. Go. <laughs> Hit the... Oh yeah. my gosh. Ariana Grande. <laughs> Brighter. This is going to be so difficult. Okay. Over to you. Uh, okay. You shine brighter than any star in the sky. Your light shining. Dark of the night, Jesus forever I find all that I am in your love, love, love yeah, And for that I say brighter, next, brighter, next, next, brighter Oh, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so <laughs> Wow, that was unbelievable <laughs> I don't know. It was like you became Ariana. It's crazy. I don't it's know how crazy it happens. How that happens. <laughs> you reckon round two? Let's do it. Let's go. I think I'm on a roll. <laughs> Tones and I never have I ever. Oh my ever. goodness. She's insane. Well, never insane. have you ever impersonated Tones this and is, I singing never have I ever. It's true. This is the first time for everything. Let's do this. Okay. <clears throat> Unbelievable. <laughs> this is so good. 
<laughs> it's pretty fun. Yeah, it is fun. Thanks. Do you reckon I should give one a crack? I, th- I think you should, just to even it out a bit. Who, who, who should I um, do? People I yelling think, at... I think, you should, I think you should do Aiden King. Aiden King? Yeah. Wow. What song? Classic. Sinking Deep. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get into character. <laughs> um, hey, everyone. Um, I wrote this... I, um, wow, my body feels really good. Uh, oh, the song. Yeah, I wrote this song, Sinking Deep, because I was swimming and then I was thinking about God's love and I was like, it's really deep. And um, this song just, it took me like 30 minutes and and um, I was at the beach. I was like, Bondi, how good's Bondi? Anyone love Bondi? <laughs> um, and um, anyway... What was I? Oh, sinking deep. Yeah, let's let's just sing the song. Um, all right, let's. Um, this first this first lyric is kind of about how we're just standing in um, God's presence. So here we go. It's pretty easy. It starts like standing here. That's it. That's wow. it. That's oh, what wow. I got. Wow, <laughs> I was really there with you. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. Thank you. What would you give me out of ten? I'm gonna out say out of ten, like Aidens. How many Aidens would you give me? <laughs> I'm going to say 8.5 Aidens. 8.5 Aidens. Yeah, I would have loved to hear a bit more actual singing. Oh, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, look. Anyway. I did my best. We're not perfect. We're not all Aiden, right? Yeah. <laughs> Should we do one last one? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm excited all for right. this one. Who knows? Hit the button. A star is born. So good grace. I guess that's like Lady Gaga because I can't sing like. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> I'm getting emotional. <laughs> People come together. Strangers, neighbors, our blood is one. Children of generations. Of every nation of kingdom come Unbelievable. We need to change the song right now. Someone that called was, Joel Houston. That was incredible. <laughs> that, Joel Houston does look like Bradley Cooper. I it's feel like of, it could yeah. be a real incredible mix. That was insane. That was worship leader <laughs> impersonator, impersonators, impersonations. Back to you, Pete and Laura. I loved that. I loved every single moment of it. That was the best ever. Uh, I'm actually speechless. No, that was that was phenomenal, and I'm looking at the comments yes. lighting up right now. I know that entry by Pappas. I mean, we didn't see it coming. We didn't see it coming. Yeah, I know. You, you can't prepare this stuff. That's what I love about youth ministry. It's organised chaos. That's do you what know I like who I would it. love to see do worship impersonations? Who? Taya Gokroja. I actually hear she's amazing yeah. at it. I, I've heard she's a good singer. Who would like to hear Taya do yes. uh, some Maybe. impersonations? I think we should start a campaign. And, okay, here, mine. if you if you know anyone that can do some impersonations, maybe we can do a Skype call, Zoom call with them okay. over the next few weeks. Okay. We actually want to do a little bit of a competition with the best impersonations. Now, they can be people from uh, within church, outside of church, but just people that we may all know, okay? So Sounds let good. us know. You might have a friend. You might request some. Whoever it is, let us know about it. Now, Laura, yes. as we said, it's our 10-week birthday celebration. Well done. We made it. And you have to know, everybody, that yeah. you see this lovely little set that's going on. But behind these cameras is a whole crew who have made Hillsong Youth Online happen. So 
Send out your applause emojis. Hit some love hearts. Hit some love hearts. Send some high fives. Let them know that you appreciate them because yeah. they have been working now, their little bottoms Laura, off. it's yes. been an incredible 10 weeks. It now, has. the next 10 weeks are only going to get better. Yes, And true. they're only going to get bigger. They're only going to get plans. crazier. We've got big plans. But, big Laura, plans. The, 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 yeah. it's, it's, it's been a journey, hasn't it? It's been a journey. The journey has been filled with many highs, many lows, many... Many things, yeah. <laughs> Just many things. Yes. <laughs> but we wanted to give you a little bit of a, I, I guess a trip down memory lane. A little trip down memory lane. The last 10 weeks of Youth Online. Let's do it. Check this out. Bloopers. All right, I want to see you guys all sing that. Wow. <laughs> Guys, guys, we'll keep the civil. You're such a good No, I'm not. This, this is Mullet's big time. Whoa, 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 whoa. I believe you just called Rafa walking Corona. I, 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 I just, sorry. I... And there you have it. Was Jamie I right? is the favourite Douglas. You heard it here. They are from their couches, from their beds, from the bathtub. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> She just, she left. Stop. There? No, I'm not in charge, you're in charge. Hi there, hi there. My name's, my name's Simon Wilcox, and uh, I just found this phone um, in Castle Towers, and uh, I, but I don't know whose phone this is, so I'm just trying to return it to the rightful owner. Do, do you know whose phone this is? <laughs> yeah, and I know exactly this is. <laughs> Like just in this season, I lost um, my wife. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I lost my Wi-Fi. Your last name means potato. This is true. What does it feel like to look like your last name? <laughs> but we're gonna sporadically be having relationships tonight. Great word, I love the word sporadic. Can you give me the count in? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> you are alive in us Nothing can take your place You are all we need Thank you, Thanks, Pastor Raph. Raph. Incredible. And if you prayed that prayer just then, we are so pumped. And it's the best, best prayer. It's the best, best prayer. Best... <laughs> You could ever pray. Ever. And uh, I want to encourage you to. Uh, <laughs> never, never have I ever, ever felt love so good, so good. Never, never have I ever, ever given all for love. Oh man, that gave me all the feels. <laughs> Jesse Murray, wow. Bro, come on. Uh, so look, so we've got a birthday cake here for you to celebrate with us. 10 weeks, youth online. You made it, you made it. So, <laughs> we need to blow this out. Now, because of social distancing, yeah. how are we gonna blow this yeah. out? Oh, Willow, our little helper. Here, bub, why don't you help us blow out the candles? Look at this. <laughs> we, this is how we're gonna blow out the candles right now. Here you go, Willow. You can do the honors. Do the honors. Yeah! Happy birthday, Hillsong Youth! Ten weeks online. Amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Well done. Oh. <laughs> My Beyonce moment. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Willow. Good job, Willow. Good Give job. Willow. Well, we have some talented people in our youth ministry. We do. And this is Tahisha. Did I say that right? Tahisha. She is one of our amazing youth leaders. Grown up in our youth ministry, she is talented, and she's going to bless us with this amazing Woo! item. So are the Go team. So why don't you give it up for Tahisha and the crew? Come on. Told them your dreams and they all started laughing. I guess you're out of your mind till it actually happens. Up the small town, one in seven billion. Why can't it be me? It took me hours out there. 
Try to knock me down Took those sticks and stones Showed me how to build a house They tell me that I'm crazy But I never let them change me They cover me in daisies Daisies, daisies They said I'm going nowhere Try to count me out Took those sticks and stones Showed them I could build a house They tell me that I'm crazy But I never let them change me Till they cover me in daisies Daisies, daisies When did we all stop believing? Took those sticks and stones, showed them I could build a house. They tell me that I'm crazy, but I'll never let them change me. So they cover me in daisies, daisies, daisies. They said I'm going nowhere, trying to count me out. Took those sticks and stones, showed them I could build a house. They tell me that I'm crazy, but I'll never let them change me. So they cover me in daisies. Why can't it be me? They told me I was out there trying to knock me down. Took those sticks and stones, showed them I could build a house. They tell me that I'm crazy, but I'll never let them change me. Till they cover me in daisies, daisies, daisies. They said I'm going nowhere, trying to count me out. Took those sticks and stones, showed them I could build a house. They tell me that I'm crazy, but I'll never let them change me. Cover me in daisies, daisies, daisies. Wow, come on, give Tahisha. it up for Tahisha. So now, Tahisha, good. come over here. Obviously, yeah, you know, you, you, you give you, yeah, 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 give yeah, yourself some middle, distance. But uh, you are amazing. Wasn't that <laughs> phenomenal? How long have you been singing for? Oh, I've been singing. You might need to use your mic there, yeah. <laughs> Um, I've been singing since I was a little girl. I kind of stopped for uh, a long time and then I kind of got back into it about four years ago and then... Wow. You know, I, yeah, it's been good. You're phenomenal. And so you grew up in our youth ministry. Now you're leading some of the youth as well. Yes, I have my own RDG girls. They're wow. leading the chat oh, somewhere. Shout there. out to you. <laughs> shout out. Who do you want to give a shout out to? Jaden, Beck, my so girls cool. Deja, yeah. Sarah. <laughs> So All she leads some of our girls, our, our young girls in high school. So good. And we just want to thank you for everything that you do in sewing into the next generation. Yeah. Uh, but I'm, I also hear that you are a netballer in a high elite league as well. Is this correct? Yes, I, I play in uh, the Premier League. Yeah, I've got a, a knee Premier League at the moment. There's a Premier League in <laughs> yeah. netball? Yes, there is. Yeah, it started about four years ago. So, wow. Yeah, we're, you know, we're all on, in lockdown, obviously, at the moment. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're um, just, you know, having lot of, lot, lots of Zoom meetings and stuff sure. like that, but I've actually got an injury at the moment, so... You um, couldn't tell. I thought it was your swag, to be honest. Oh, I thought that's how you walked, <laughs> but, man. Well, you're amazing. Come on, one you more are. time. Give it up for Tahisha, Tahisha and the entire team. Thanks, team. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so you were good. absolutely phenomenal. Well, okay. Laura, um, Paps is back again. And we can't back, get enough of Paps. We Pabst. can't get yeah. enough of Paps, that's the truth. Yeah. He's back by popular demand with... Pranks with Paps. Yes. I was about to say Paps with pranks. I cannot works. believe. I cannot believe who he has pranked. Uh, He's this gone week. for the top. He has gone for He's the top. He's done the unthinkable. He has risked it all. He's risked his life. He's risked his job. He has. He's risked his body for this one. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Sorry. We'll add that to the blue Maybe reel. he has risked his body. <laughs> Check out who Pappas has pranked call this week. Pranks with Paps. Hey, how you doing today? Is this uh, Pastor Brian Houston? Uh, is that Holy Irving's 
husband? Excuse me, sorry, no, this is Hank Hobson from uh, Lifted Up Church in Dallas, Texas. How you doing, Pastor Brian? I'm busy right now, sorry, mate. Uh, no, that's so, that's so fine. I have got a great opportunity for you, but we can, we can talk about it at another time. Whenever suits you best, Pastor Brian, no problem. This is uh, Pastor Hank Hobson from Lifted Up Church in Dallas, Texas. We met uh, over at uh, Joel Osteen's church uh, a couple years back. You probably don't remember, but we got a great church over here, and we're doing some great things. And you know, y'all are doing great things, and we're really just we're really honored to know you and be a part of your world. How come, how come the phone came up? How you doing? <laughs> Well, that number. we've we've got the same number. We've got yep. Uh, it happened. You you'd be surprised how often it happens. People tell me all the time. You, you're are you Haley? And I no, it's Pastor Hank Hobson from <laughs> Lifted Up Church, Dallas, Texas. Write me an email, mate. Lifted up church, Dallas, Texas. Hey, God bless you, Pastor Brian. Thank you for your time. Yeah, well, you know, when you're born in Southern California and grow up in Idaho and move to Sydney, you know, it's just it's 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 messed up. I'm so sorry. Please don't please don't fire me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> he just uh, he had the number. <laughs>、But、there's there's no setup like that to go into worship. Am I right, Aiden? That was amazing, bro. Well done. We've been we've been represented. You were represented so well before by Justin. I know. Actually, he should probably just come up here and do it. Yeah, Where's he? Where's Justin? But we are going to worship. We are. And we're not going to let this moment be just、uh, something we're sitting on our couch and just watching happen. But we can engage. We can worship. Aiden's going to pray for us, and then we're going to sing together.、So、come on, wherever you are, would you join us? Well, Jesus, we thank you for this moment that we have with you, God. Wherever we find ourselves, and we just pray that,、um, Lord, that we would feel your presence right now, God. That you would encounter us wherever we are, God. And we ask that,、um, Lord, things would change, and、um, Lord, that we'd be inspired again and、um, excited about. Love what you have for us this week as well, God. We love you so much. Give you all the praise in this moment. Amen. Come on, we sing. You've overcome. You've overcome this world with love and made my fight your own. And I lift my eyes and throw fear aside. Sing out in. To the night, come on. Even when, is even when the world caves, even when the fight comes, even when the boys awake, I take heart. Come on, sing. I know you are greater, whatever you say.
family sing with us oh to jesus i surrender oh to him i free Worship. Um, I know so many of you have written in some prayer requests and we just want to let you know that as a youth ministry, as a youth team, we are constantly thinking of you and praying for you in uh, in this time. And um, someone has requested that we pray for healing for mental health. We know mental health is a huge issue for so many of you and we are here for you. Uh, so you need to reach out to your RDG leaders. Let us know how we can help you, but we will pray for you. Someone else is praying for guidance for the future. Someone is asking for healing for their grandma. Someone else is asking for world peace. Who knows that in in the day that we're living in, we need world peace. We need God to intervene. Uh, the world is an insanely crazy place. Someone else is praying for school exams and HSC, uh, their high school certificate during during Corona season, which we know is also a, like a really stressful time for a lot of you. So let's pray together. And I want to encourage you, extend your faith, extend uh, your prayers. Let's join together and be united in prayer in this time. So Lord Jesus, we look to you. We know God that you are our God, that you are in control, that we can trust in you, that we can, as we look to you, as we keep our hearts steadfast on you, we know that you are in control, that you will have your way, that your perfect will shall be done, that your kingdom will be, will come, Lord God. Lord Jesus, we pray for healing for sickness. We pray for healing to cover our land, Lord Jesus. We pray for those who are experiencing um, mental health issues, whether it's anxiety or depression or whatever it may be, Lord, that you would come, that you would comfort them, that your spirit would be close, that they would sense your nearness, Lord Jesus, that they would um, understand that you bring wholeness and healing in Jesus' name. We pray that you would provide for those who are in need, Lord God. And you, I thank you, God, that you, um, you provide for all of our needs. In Jesus' name, and everybody said a huge Amen, 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 amen. Well, I want to encourage you, Hillsong Youth, let's not tune out. We are about to hear the word tonight and I'm excited because the one and only Peter Kaiser Toganavalu, the first, he is going to bring a message tonight and it's a word in season. So let's lean in, let's write notes, let's open our Bibles and all be a part of this. It's the word of God and amen. Over to you, Pete. Well, hello everyone. Honored to be bringing the word to Hillsong Youth online. So wherever you're joining in from, believing that these few moments we have together as we come around the word is gonna impact your life. Let's pray. And this is my man, Michael Harrison here, who's gonna help me preach tonight. So Father, thank you so much for all those gathered in and pray this message would reach people where they're at. Lord, I know God, you're gonna encounter 
every single person joining in. In Jesus' name I pray. And everyone said together, amen, amen. Well, the title of this message is called Puzzles and Pictures. This last season, uh, puzzles have become a big thing again. It's like they have taken over our world right now because of this last season that we've all been in. And uh, a few weeks ago, I went to get some, uh, a puzzle for my kids and it was sold out because puzzles, they're on their way back. And I love it because they say puzzles have uh, helped people in their cognitive ability. In other words, it's another way of saying that it helps with brain activity in teaching you how to solve problems. Now, I am not a big fan of puzzles. I tell you right now, I get frustrated. You know why I get frustrated? Because you're expected to take this small piece with a thousand similar pieces and you have to put it into its rightful place. And slowly this picture starts to emerge. If you're lucky enough, you have the picture on a box and your job is to get this piece and a thousand other pieces looking like the picture on the box. And I get frustrated because, well, the piece that I'm putting together, the pieces that I'm looking at look nothing like the picture that I'm looking at. And I think this is frustrating for everybody because maybe you have a dream and you have a vision. God's given you a picture, maybe a glimpse of maybe what 2020 was meant to look like. But the piece that's been dealt your way was a pandemic. Maybe it was a loss of income. Maybe it was a loss of a job. Maybe it's family problems. Maybe it's brokenness. Maybe it's issues, internal issues going on. Maybe it's external issues. I think in life, there's this tension between what we see and what's in our hand. And this is where many of us, many Christians, I believe, we tap out, we get discouraged because, well, the pieces that are in my hand look nothing like the picture that I'm looking at. And I think this causes frustration in our life. There's this beautiful scripture in Proverbs 16, verse 9. And I'm going to read it from the Passion Translation. And I love how the Passion Translation puts it. It says, within your heart, you can make plans for your future, but the Lord chooses the steps you take to get there. You see, I love it because what it's saying is we can plan our future. We know what the picture looks like, but it is God who plans our steps. It is God, in other translations, it says, who orders our steps. In other words, there's pieces that come our way and there's a picture that we're looking at. And sometimes we get dealt pieces that we didn't ask for. But I pray that something you get out of this message tonight is this. The peace that is in your hand is not insignificant. In fact, like this peace that I'm holding right now, it is shaped for such a time as this. And if you would just be faithful and diligent with what's in your hand, that picture that you've been looking at will slowly start to, uh, st slowly start to come to life and you'll start to see God was in that peace. God was in that peace because now I'm starting to see this picture come together. You see, I think there's this verse in Jeremiah 29, 11. We quote it a lot. And it sounds great. You usually hear preachers say, great are the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Now I get a little bit frustrated with this verse. You know why? Because I get frustrated that God knows the plans, but God, do you want to let us in on the plans? Do you want to let us in on the steps that we're about to take? Do you want to let us in on the details? God, it would have been nice to know what 2020 was going to look like so we could plan accordingly. God, it would have been great to know that sports were not going to be shown for a few weeks, a few months. I mean, that's devastating for me. God, it would have been great to know that my dad or my mom, they were going to lose their job. It would have been great to know that we're going to miss school so I could plan things. But you see, God doesn't work like that. God just says, you know what, son, daughter, I just want you to trust me with the peace that I put in your hand. Just be obedient with every word I say. You see, Ecclesiastes 3, 
verse one, it talks about there's a time for everything. There's a season for everything. And you know, right now, there's a piece that's in your hand and it's for such a time as this. And I pray that young person, whoever is listening to my voice right now, that you wouldn't wish this piece away, that you wouldn't wish this season away, but perhaps you could embrace this piece and understand that God is forming something together, something beautiful together. This picture is coming together. And if there was an, any notes to take, write this down. It's the small pieces that create the big picture. It's the small pieces that create the big picture. I love what our senior pastor says. I've heard him say over the year, if you over the years, if you want to be um, accomplish what's on your heart, then be faithful and diligent with what's in your hand. Think about Jesus for a moment, young people. Think about Jesus. When he called the disciples who would later change the world in three years, Jesus calls the disciples. Jesus doesn't call the disciples and kind of walk along the beach, as the Bible says in the Gospels. He doesn't say, hey, yo, yo Peter, James and John, what do you got planned for the next few years? Uh, do you like walking? Do you, do, you, do you like persecution? What do you guys know about crucifixion? What do you know about not having anywhere to lay your head at night, not having any permanent place to stay? We're kind of going to go from village to village. Do you like being caught in storms? No, no, no. Do you know what the Bible says in the Gospels? Jesus is walking along the beach. He sees some fishermen who would later become the disciples. And all he says is this, Hey, follow me. And he simply keeps walking. The Bible says the disciples hearing his voice dropped their nets immediately and they followed him. Now, hats off to the disciples, I've got to say, because if that was me, I can tell you right now, if Jesus said, hey, Tongzi, follow me, I'd be like, yo, first of all, I'm fishing. Now, this is a great job, Jesus. Um, first of all, do you want to let me know where we're going? See, I'm a person that wants to kind of know all the plans. I want to know what's ahead. I want to know what's the details. God, what, where are we going? Where are we going to sleep? What are we going to eat? This is a great paying job for me, Jesus. This is a great job as a fisherman. And I can't just give this up. How am I going to feed my family? How am I going to put food on the table? But see, Jesus just wants you to trust him at his word. And I think if the disciples were here tonight, they would say, trust him. When he speaks, follow him. When he says it, be obedient. And young people, I pray this generation would be marked by obedience, by obedience to his word. When God speaks and we listen, we're obedient to his word. When God says, move here, we move. You see, it talks about this in Hebrews. It talks about faith and it, and it uses Abraham as an example. And it says this in Hebrews 11 in the message translation, verse eight to nine, it says, by an act of faith, Abraham said yes to God's call to travel to an unknown place that would become his home. When he left, he had no idea where he was going. In other words, he had no idea of the destination. He had no idea of the details. He simply just trusted God and he went down in the faith hall of fame because he left the details to God. I think if God lets you know everything he was about to do, if he told you every single detail of what your future would look like, I can tell you right now, you would absolutely freak out. You would run for your life. Look, honestly, if God told me what I would be doing today, 15, 20 years ago, I can tell you right now, I would have run for my life because there's this thing inside each and every human called uh, logic. We actually can self-sabotage our future because logic kicks in and it says, ooh, that's a bit too scary. That's a bit too hot. That's a bit too high. That's a bit too deep. I'm not gonna step out. But you know what faith said? Faith says this, faith says, even though it's deep, I'm gonna trust you at your word and I'm gonna step out. Even if it's too high and I don't think I can get there, I'm gonna trust you because you said I could do it. Even if it's too far and wide, even if it's too far for me to go, God, I'm gonna trust you. And I wanna speak to every single young person, young adult joining 
in right now. Maybe you have a dream. Maybe you have a dream and a vision and you felt like God gave you a picture, but the piece that you're holding in your hand seems to be so far away from the picture that you're looking at. Can I just say, if there was one point to walk away with tonight, it's this, keep being faithful with the peace that's in your hand. For many of you right now, maybe it's a small Bible study group. Maybe it's your school and it's your studies. Maybe right now it's just simply being honorable to your father and your mother. Maybe it's just being kind. Whatever it is, the peace that's in your hand, keep building and keep putting that peace together and watch what God can do with your life if you simply just embrace that peace that's in your hand. So young person, what's that peace that's in your hand right now? Don't throw it away. Because notice this about a puzzle. Every piece of that puzzle is cut out for a shape. It's a shape that's to fit part of the picture. At some point in time, that piece, if you threw it away and you brought your picture together, that piece would be missing. And if you're like me, who can sometimes be a little bit frustrated with puzzles, that would absolutely tick me off if I had finished the picture and yet there was a piece missing, not knowing that piece was part of the big picture. You see, as I bring this to a close, I was kind of just thinking about this thought that we have this dream and this future and it's the picture of where God wants us to go, where we're headed in our life. And we have this piece and each piece is building towards that dream and the great vision that we have. And then seriously, this afternoon, I felt like God say, that's one way of looking at it. But also one way of looking at it is that me, as in Pete Talks, you, those of you that are joining in, we're the puzzle, we're the broken pieces. And God is bringing together a picture. And then he brought this verse to mind for me. And it's a beautiful verse and it's found in Ephesians 2, 19 to 22. And I'm going to paraphrase it for the sake of time. But in the message translation, it talks about God is building something. He's fitting us together piece by piece. And I've realized our lives are the puzzle where our lives are the broken pieces that God is putting together. And while it is great for us to be fixed on visions and dreams and to hope for a better tomorrow, I believe our lives are not just to look like more like the dream, but our lives are to look more like Jesus, to love like Jesus did, to help like Jesus did, to be like Jesus. Our lives piece by piece together is to look like Jesus. Jesus. My prayer for each and every person joining in right now would be don't underestimate that peace that you're holding in your hand. I know it seems insignificant. I know it seems small and I know it seems out of place. I know some of us are looking at this year and we're kind of like 2020, what? But that's a peace that, that's in our hand. What are we going to do with the peace that we've been given? Are we going to make this peace count or are we going to do what so many people do? They just wish away the peace. They wish away this season. Are we going to understand, as Ecclesiastes 3 says, there's a time for everything. There's a season for everything under the sun. Young people, I know right now the peace doesn't look like the picture, but I would say to you, keep building piece by piece and watch what can happen with your life when you trust God with your life. So my prayer for every single person is that you would understand our lives, yeah, they're puzzles. And I look at my life sometimes and I'm puzzled literally by my own life because I'm like, God, that doesn't look anything like what you told me it would look like. But I pray each and every one of us would simply just be diligent and faithful with what's in our hand in this season and watch what can happen with your life. Lord, I just pray for every single person Lord, that we wouldn't wish away this season that we're in right now. God, we'd embrace it. And Lord, for some of us right now, it's a season of hurt. It's a season of pain. It's a season of brokenness. Lord, for some of us, we're a season of mountaintops. We're in a season, God, of victory. But Lord, whatever season we find ourselves in, Lord, may we understand that peace 
is part of the big picture. You are building something in our lives. Lord, you're putting our lives together piece by piece, brick by brick. Lord, building something in our lives that you can call home. Lord, our prayer is that we would continue to be more like Jesus. Lord, while we are fixed sometimes on the dreams and the hopes that we have for a future, and it's a great future for every young person, I pray that young people would understand our lives are to reflect who he is, Jesus, who he is, his majesty, his greatness. And so, God, I pray right now for every single young person. I pray for their future. I pray, God, for what's ahead of them. It's greater than what's behind them. I thank you, God, for lives that will be lived on purpose, for a purpose. Young people, a generation who are called to glorify you. Father, I pray you'd have your way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hopefully that message spoke to so many young people, some of our young adults. You know, I know there's young people who are joining in right now and I don't know, maybe you're in a season right now where exactly what I'm talking about, it's kind of like you're just fearful maybe of the future. Maybe right now the piece that's in your hand, it just seems insignificant. Maybe there's a young adult right now and the piece you're holding in your hand is kind of like, I've just lost my job. I've just lost some income. I, I, I've just had to change my career. and I. I don't know what I'm going to do with this piece. Well, you know what? Whether you believe it or not, that piece is part of God's master plan. And all you need to do is place it at His feet and believe for something amazing to come out of this. You know, I know right now, even in our world, as of current events and everything happening around the world right now, it just seems like our world is just full of chaos from viruses to injustice to things happening that we don't even see on the news sometimes. And I just really want to pray for our, our world right now that is hurting, broken. It's, it's, it's groaning for, for, for something more than what they're going through. And so many people right now in their world, in their life right now, the, the peace that they've been dealt is just pain. It's, it's brokenness and they just don't know what to do. And I'm going to believe right now, I'm going to pray for you and I'm going to pray for our world right now that God would intervene and surprise you like never before. Father, pray for every single young person. Lord, every young adult, Lord, you know their story. And Lord, I wish I had all the time in the world to go through people's different needs, but only you know, God. And so I pray again, one more time for people, Lord, the peace that's been dealt their way, that you would intervene. Turn up and surprise them, Lord. We thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Lord, I pray for our world right now. We keep committing our world to You, God. Lord, we know that there is answers in Your Son, Jesus. Lord, I even pray for our youth ministry and youth ministries right around the globe that we would see a generation rise up. Lord, who are not fearful, God, who are not ashamed of the Gospel, but Lord, they will stand, Father. Lord, I pray for a generation that will be marked and called by You, God. Lord, they won't be living their lives according to what everyone else says or what the media says or what social media says. Lord, they'll live their lives according to what You say. And so God, we thank You that You are building our life. 
You're building our life. And so, Father, we commit everything to you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hey, don't go anywhere. This is an important question I'm about to ask you. And I want to ask you a very, very important question. How you answer this determines a whole lot about your life. It determines your eternity and where it lies. Young person, young adult, whoever's joining in right now, no matter what age you are, no matter where you're from, whether you're here in Australia or around the globe somewhere, do you know Jesus? I'm not asking you, have you been to church? I'm not asking you, are you a member of a Bible study group? No, no, I'm asking you, do you have a relationship with Jesus? I don't know what you know about Jesus, but He is not standing back. He is not angry at you. Maybe at one time in your life, you had an experience with religion. You had an experience with church and it's caused you to walk away because you thought, if this is what God is like, then I'm done. The truth is, friend, maybe you, we, we live in this world and I ask myself this all the time. Maybe we do live in this world that has boiled God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit down to just rules and regulations. Friend, He is more than that. He's a friend. He's a friend in a time of need. He's the friend to sinners. He's a friend to people. You know what that says to me? Jesus is about relationship. And He wants a relationship with you. And I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but I really do believe there are young people here that need to make a decision to follow Jesus. And now's your moment. Have you made your peace with Him? Maybe at one time you made that decision, but you know in your heart, you walked away. The good news is God doesn't walk away from you. He doesn't save and unsave. He doesn't change His mind. But we walk away. We make our decisions and we distance ourselves. We kind of sometimes isolate ourselves. But the Good Shepherd, the Bible talks about, He will leave everything to come and find you isolated, alone. Why? Because He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. And young person, today, I would love to lead you in a simple, powerful prayer of asking Jesus into your life. Do you know Him? If you don't, then this prayer is for you. Say this prayer with me, even if you made this decision at one point. Come on, say this out loud if you want, or you can mumble it under your breath in case you're watching it in the living room and the family's watching some Netflix next year. Just say this from the bottom of your heart. Dear Jesus, today I give you my life. I surrender all. I need you. So help me follow you. Forgive me of all my mistakes. Today's a new day. I'm a Jesus follower. In your name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hey, if you made that decision, there's a link that's going to come up. Please go to it. Please, please click that link. Uh, we have a team that want to connect with you. Uh, maybe you want to get in on the, the chats there and let someone know that you prayed that decision. Hopefully some of our pastors are on there and maybe some of our team, they'll, they'll get onto that and they'll connect with you because we want to help you on this journey of following Jesus. I hope that you received that message tonight because I really had it on my heart for our youth ministry and uh, keep building with the peace that's in our hand. And you know what? The peace that's in our hand right now for our youth ministry is youth online and we're going to do our best with it. And I'm going to ask Laura to come back up here and we're going to close out in just a moment. But as I just talk about just our youth ministry for a second, I just really believe we are going to go from strength to strength. We're going to go from, uh, we're, going to, we're going to take this to, to where, where, where we've never been before and we're reaching more people than we ever have before. And your part absolutely matters. And so keep leaning in. Keep, don't just see this as a link. Don't just see this as some sort of a website you come and be a part of. This is community. We're family. We're doing this together. Invite your friends along. Tell them to come along. Inviting friends, I've been saying week in, week out, has never been easier. Literally at school, just send them a link. Just text them a link. Tell them it starts at 7.30. I gotta say, at 7.15, we've got some of our own team, some of our youth pastors, some of our young and free team. They've got like a kind of a pre-show happening before the night starts. So you can tune in and kind of have fam family and have fun like that. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's been uh, really special, but I believe that God has got so much in store for us over the next few weeks. And so I just want to challenge you. Let's not get familiar or like kind of get comfortable in this space. Let's be really expectant for what God wants to do in your lives because uh, He sees you. And I think that He wants to impart so much more. And so I think just open up your heart for what He's got yeah. planned. We got some amazing things planned over the next few weeks, I've got to say. We have got JD, Jonathan Douglas from Hillsong United. He's gonna be 
preaching. Now, a lot of you would know him for his singing and his worship leading and his jumping around and his craziness. But this guy, he's got something on his heart that he's going to be bringing to us as a youth ministry over yep. the next, this next season. We've got some fun things planned. And uh, so don't miss any moment of this. Yep. This weekend, we have church on, all right, with Pastor Brian. And also this weekend, I hear Pastor Jensen Franklin is dropping no in way. as well. That's huge. He is the Prince of Preachers. It's going to be amazing. But Pastor <laughs> Brian and Pastor Jensen Franklin this weekend, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Hey, straight after this, we have an after party. The after party with Young and Free. Yes. We know that that is a firm favourite for a lot of you guys. And so I can't wait for that. Hang around. These guys get behind the scenes of what actually goes on here. They talk about some stuff. The filters get removed. Not that there is any filters going on right now. <laughs> And we talk all things from you to you to us and whatever's happening. So <laughs> hang around. Laura, why don't you pray for us? All right. See you back here next week. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your people. May you bless them, cause your face to shine upon them, be gracious towards them. We thank you for them and we pray that they would just have the best weekend and week ever. In Jesus' name and everybody said, amen. We love you. Amen. See you on Sunday. See you.